Hi, and welcome to this quick enablement video of the NetApp AltaVault Cloud Integrated Storage Appliance, the market-leading solution for protecting data to public and private cloud storage. In this session, we'll show you how to configure a new AltaVault appliance with a key management server, or KMS. Typically during deployment of a new AltaVault appliance, the GUI setup wizard would be used to configure the necessary cloud connection. However, because we'll be using a KMS to secure the cloud credentials and the encryption key, we'll need to deviate from the normal setup wizard operation to configure KMIP. KMIP stands for Key Management Interoperability Protocol, the secure communications method used by AltaVault and the KMS. When the KMIP page loads, we'll need to add a new KMS. From the Add a New Server dropdown, Provide the key server name that we'll be using in the environment. Specify the KMS by target IP or DNS name, and identify the credentials of the user who will be authenticating and adding entries to the KMS. Note that you will need the CA certificate of the KMS, so get that from your security team and upload it through the Browse button as shown here. Once the KMS is added, we'll need to identify the keys that we want the KMS to manage. Within an AltaVault environment, the keys that are important for a KMS to secure are the cloud credentials and the encryption key of the AltaVault appliance. Let's first create the key entries for the cloud credentials. As you can see here, we are creating a new key that corresponds to the access key of our cloud provider, which is Amazon in this case. Select Yes for the register key dropdown in order to create the key on the KMS. Paste the access key value into the field, and if needed, gather this from the cloud settings page. We'll also need to create another entry for the secret key as well. This is an additional security value which you must know from Amazon. The last key is the encryption key, which is used to encrypt data received by AltaVault. Because this is a new installation of AltaVault, no encryption key has been created on the appliance for which we can import into the KMS. If you know the encryption key has been created on the KMS, have the security administrator in your organization provide you the associated UUID for that key from the KMS and enter it in the UUID field here. Note that it must be an AES 256 bit key and that no other algorithm or key size is currently supported. If you want to create an encryption key through AltaVault, use the cloud settings page to create it. The encryption subpage is where it's created, as shown here. Once created, refresh the KMIP page to add the encryption key to the KMS. Make sure you specify the symmetric key option and that the register key option is set to import the key from AltaVault into the KMS. Now that the cloud credentials and encryption key have been created and registered by AltaVault to the KMS, let's return back to the setup wizard to complete the cloud configuration wizard. Restarting the wizard allows us to use the now-defined KMS-based keys for the cloud credentials, and we aren't prompted to enter their values. Complete the wizard to finish the GUI portion of the setup. To complete the AltaVault setup with the KMS, we will then need to use the Client Interface, or CLI, to complete the KMIP configuration. Log into the appliance and then issue the commands EN for Enable, Conf T for Configure Terminal, and no service enable to stop the AltaVault appliance service. If the appliance manages the encryption key within the secure vault, we will need to instruct AltaVault to first remove that key. After verifying that the encryption key has successfully registered to the KMS from the GUI portion of the setup, use the data store encryption reset key command to remove the encryption key from AltaVault. Finally, we'll need to enable AltaVault to use the encryption key from the KMS. Issue the data store encryption key MGMT command, as shown here, to enable AltaVault to use the KMS for the encryption key. With the setup complete, restart the service to complete the transition to a KMS-based configuration for AltaVault. The system log will confirm that the credentials and encryption key are being sourced from KMS by the messages that begin with the tag comment. You can see that the encrypted strings are provided to AltaVault to use for the encryption key and cloud credential connections. Note that the logs are sanitized and the cryptographic secrets now sourced from the KMS are always masked to ensure that they are never reported in the logs. With that, this concludes the quick demo on configuring AltaVault with a key management server. 
For more information, visit our page at netapp.com slash altavault.